after torrential rains caused one dam to fail and another to breach. Rivers there are still rising as we come on the air, and floodwaters in some neighborhoods could soon be as deep as nine feet. 10,000 people have been forced from their homes and into shelters, where tonight the governor is asking them to wear masks and maintain social distancing. Michigan is already dealing with one of the largest coronavirus outbreaks in the Midwest, with more than 53,000 confirmed cases. Nationwide, there are now more than 1.5 million confirmed cases, and more than 93,000 people have been killed by the virus in the U.S. Tonight, all 50 states have now lifted some stay-at-home restrictions after Connecticut allowed museums and offices to reopen and restaurants to serve meals outdoors. But heading into Memorial Day weekend, experts are concerned about infection spiking after seeing outbreaks in some areas that have already reopened. Well, there's a lot of news to get to tonight, and our team of correspondents is standing by. CBS's Janet Chamlain is going to lead off our coverage from the flood zone in Michigan. Janet? Nora, the flooded river that swamped neighborhoods like this all over Midland has just crested tonight, but the danger is not over. We have learned that Dow Chemical has enacted an emergency plan to keep flooded chemical ponds from spilling over. There is damage in every direction, but no loss of life. This is the moment raging water burst through the Eatonville Dam in central Michigan. Moments later, 10 miles downstream, the floodwaters overwhelmed a second dam. The dam has failed, 100% failure, evacuate the area. The breaches sent more than 10,000 people scrambling in Midland and two nearby towns. Emergency responders going door to door to evacuate residents. From the air, the waters seemed to stretch to the horizon. Roads, cars and homes were no match for the life-threatening waters, rising five feet deep in some areas. I've been here approximately 26 years and have never had this type of situation occur. The sheer power of the surge seen here, an asphalt road ripped from the ground. The governor warned downtown Midland could soon be under nine feet of water. We do know that the water is 